In today's video, I am going to show you all how to create a Kanban project from scratch. Uh, so basically, I'm going to create a Kanban project and I'm going to be doing this for like beginners and hopefully as simple as possible. If you all recall, since my Jira series, I've showed you all how to create a whole Scrum project and how to track the progress of your team and how to also do reports. Welcome back to Aisha Scrum. I'm very happy to have you all today. Uh, for my current subscriber and my new subscriber, I truly appreciate you all for watching. So now let's get into our video. And this is like our Jira homepage uh, in case if you may be using this for practicing purposes or you need this maybe for work, uh, just for you to know, for you to maybe get this homepage, you maybe already sign up for the free Jira platform because uh, Jira have a free platform for like almost 10 people. It's like free. And with that, you can now create your account for free and then maybe you can now follow through with this, with this Kanban project. And for me, I have to click on this Jira software at the top. And when I click on Jira software, it brings me to my homepage. And with my homepage, I have my other uh, projects that I've already created in the past. And for you to create a project uh, at work, you have to be a Jira administrator. Uh, I know like uh, sometimes some of these templates is connected with multiple other projects in the company. So it's very important for you all to know that you must first be a Jira admin to get all of this access. There's two ways I can create project, right? Uh, so the first place I can go, I can go on that project here at the top. I'll click, on, click down on that drop down arrow and you see the create project right there. Another way to, I can create a project is also to come on to view all project. And when I click on view all project, then at the top here, it shows me to create a project. And in this case, I'm gonna click on the blue arrow and create a project. And as soon as I come here, it's asking me what kind of project do I wanna create? Uh, it's telling me my last project I created, I use Scrum. And in this case, I would like to create Kanban and not Scrum. So in this case, I'm gonna look for it under software development. And when I click on, on the software development, it's going to show me like on uh, the templates I have on the Jira uh, Atlassian, uh, Scrum and Kanban, which is the most popular framework. And they also have a bug, bug tracking one that in case the team would like to use. Uh, I know uh, right away made for me, it highlighted Scrum because that's my most popular one. But for this video, our goal is to create a Kanban um, board. And for me to do that, I'm just going to click on it. And when you do click on it, and going back to Jira, right? Jira is so cool. And the nice thing about them, they give like a whole summary about what is Kanban and why should you use Kanban and the purpose of it all. And let's just define Kanban. We can also use this opportunity to, to even learn a little bit more about Kanban, right? It's a Kanban is Japanese word of visualized signal, basically visualizing board, right? Because the whole purpose of Kanban, because we want to have this full visual of our workflow in one glance, right? Basically, it helps team to visualize, track their work, uh, limit work currently in progress, and maximize efficiency. Uh, so this is simple reason why we want to create a Kanban template. And it's also telling you here, track work using a simple board, right? Work items are represented visually on your Kanban board, allowing team to track the status of work at any given point. I know for some of people, like, hmm, we can also do this in Scrum, right? Because we know all know too, we also have a Scrum board, but Kanban is a little bit more different. And my goal as I continue with this series is to show you all the biggest difference between having a Kanban board and also having a Scrum board. By the way, if you've been finding my content valuable, please like and subscribe to my channel. I truly appreciate you all for watching and also subscribing to my channel. And if you are interested in mentorship, do not hesitate to email me at admin at aishascrumtech.com. And thank you all for watching. So now let's go back to the video, right? So up here is telling me like a simple board for tracking the columns on your board represents each steps in your team workflow, which is very important, right? Because why? We want to have that simple visualization of our board to maximize efficiency and value. 
and use work, uh, work board to limit work in progress, which is the biggest difference between a scrum board and uh, having a Kanban board and having this access of where you can able to limit work in progress, uh, the whip limits. And I'm going to show you all this in this series and continuous improvement with agile reporting, which they have the difference metric in, uh, in Kanban. And then my plan is to go over all of that in, under the configuration. And when I move to the other side, it's telling me to use these templates. So then I'm going to click on use these templates. And going back to what we did the last time in our Scrum project, right? Uh, it's telling me if I would like to use the team manage and team manage, meaning that uh, it's Scrum team going to manage everything, or if I would like to do a company manage. My goal is to use company manage on this one because then I can get more futures uh, in it. I noticed that the difference between having a uh, team manager and company manager, because company manager have more uh, features. I can do more data uh, configuration compared if I use the team manager. And my last one, I show you all how to create a Scrum board team manager. And this one, let's go for the company manager so you all can see the difference. So then I select company manager, and then it's asking me for my, uh, my Kanban project name. I'm going to call it uh, Aisha. Tech. And that's going to be my Kanban project's name, Aisha Tech. And it automatically gives me my key. Uh, and the key is here. And you can always switch the key if needed. But I like the key of SHTCH. But I know you can also click and for you to switch it. You just click on it and delete it and create a new key that you like. And share settings with an existing project. And that's when if you would like to link, like for example, if you already have a uh, existing Scrum board and you want to link that, you can also share that. But in this case, that's not what I want to do. I want to create a Kanban board from scratch. Then I hit on next. And it's asking me if I would like to conf uh, connect my Confluence Cloud uh, uh, up onto this. And I don't plan to do this right now because I plan to show you all later on how to do everything on Confluence. So for now, let's just skip this step. So it's loading. Ta-da! So now we have our beautiful Kanban board, right? Which is so nice, which is so simple. We just made it like in literally in one search, right? Uh, and the good thing about this, it gives you everything, uh, the whole Kanban board and the whole Kanban view. My goal for this video is just to show you all like the sample of each of this column. And from there, in my next video, I'm gonna show you all how to configure the Kanban board. And always with Jira, yeah, at the top, you always see like your work and other projects you have in your company, all the other filters and the dashboard and the people you have in here, and different apps if you wanna link uh, to your actual Jira software. And at the top, uh, it has my Aisha Tech, which is the project name. And right here, it has my Kanban board, uh, basically my board name, which is, uh, I can also make this change. I can call this Kanban board. I can do all of that. And I'll show you all how to do that later. And here, it also have the roadmap. And if I click on the roadmap, it basically has like the steps in way how we plan to do our work as a team. And they have like different uh, steps in there based on the timeline and dates. And then the next thing is the Kanban board itself. And in the Kanban board, uh, already at default, it's already like created like the backlog um, basically and selected for development in progress and done. Up here is reports. And on the report, if I click on that, it's gonna show me the different um, metrics for Kanban. Um, and it's loading. I have the cumulative flow diagram, which I plan to show you all later about the cumulative flow diagram and control charts. This tool is like very popularly used to look at time, right? Because the goal in Kanban is always to reduce lead time, right? And cycle time. And it has like other like uh, different metrics too that if we use, but I know these two uh, metrics are the two ones that I've always used and very popular. And I go back to my board. And then it has all issues later on as we continue to create issues, the, all the issues gonna show here. And we have the component, we have the code and releases. And I've showed you all how to do release. It's gonna be same thing to here. And if I wanna link and add short scope, if I wanna link Confluence to this board, I can also do the same. And basically, 
that's just simple overview on how to create a Kanban board. And my next video, my goal is to show you all how to configure this board so it can be ready for your team and ready for work. And thank you all for watching this video. I truly appreciate your time. And if you've been finding my content valuable, do not hesitate to like and subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in mentorship, do not hesitate to email admin at aishascrumtech.com. Thank you all and see you all again in my next video.